How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about communication out on the trail. Before we get started, I would just like to say that I am in fact 20 subscribers away from doing the JKS license plate relocation bracket giveaway. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and head on over to this video. Make sure you leave a comment because that is how I'm going to determine who is the winner of the giveaway. So there are several forms of communication that you can use out on the trail. Everything from a CB all the way up to a ham radio. Now CB is one of the most easiest to install and one of the most common forms of communication that people will have out on the trail. If you would like a little bit more versatility and distance or range, then you might want to look into getting a ham license and radio that way. So there are several options. Like I said, there's CB, there's FRS, which is family radio service. There is GMRS, which is general mobile radio service. And there is the king of communication, the ham radio. Now, which one is best for you? Well, that just depends on what you're wanting to do. Now, CB radio is something that people normally get right off the bat. You know, you get this big antenna attached to the back of the Jeep and it kind of looks cool. A lot of your buddies are probably running a CB, so that's what they recommend and that's what you get. That may or may not be the best option for you. FRS is something that you can get at Walmart. FRS is actually the two-way radios or the walkie-talkies that you can pick up in the outdoor sporting goods section. So you will see a difference between them. The FRS uh, claims some of them claim that they're good for 20 miles some of them claim that they're good for 36 miles now keep in mind that those distances and ranges are all dependent on operating conditions now if you're in a desert area where everything's flat and there's no obstructions then maybe yeah you'll get that 36 mile range but chances are you're gonna be in the mountains or on the trail and there's gonna be obstacles there that are going to limit how far the communication is going to travel. Keep in mind that the FRS is limited to a 0.5 watt operating power. So you're not going to get the incredible distance that you would with GMRS or, you know, the ham radio. Keep in mind that the CB and the FRS do not require a license. When you start stepping up to the GMRS, the general mobile radio service, you are starting to look into requiring a license. While there is no test for the GMRS, you will have to go and register and you will have to pay a fee for that. Now that fee does apply to the entire family. So if you're over 18 years of age, you will be able to operate on the GMRS. The FRS and the GMRS operate on the same frequencies. However, the difference between a 0.5 watt and the max of a 5 watt that the GMRS can operate on will mean that there is extra distance. When you step up to the ham radio license, then you are looking at a lot more power and a lot more range. Now these licenses do require that you take and pass an FCC examination and you will be issued a call sign. Me personally, I stopped using the CB. Uh, the CB was not the best option for me. I'm over here in California and a lot of the wheeling is done in the mountains. Now when you start going up into the mountains, a lot of times you're going to be outside of cell phone reception. If anything were to happen for whatever reason, you know, you're not going to be able to reach out for help. CB wasn't going to cut it, GMRS wasn't going to cut it, and so I started looking around and if you hit a repeater, you could talk for 100 miles or more on the ham radio. As you can see, there are a lot of options for communication out on the trail. And what solution works for one person may not work for, the, uh, for you. It just depends on what it is that you're trying to do. Are you trying to have a small group and just communicate with each other that way? Or are you looking at it for more of a safety thing while you're out on the trail and you're away from civilization and you don't have cell phone reception? You know, these are all questions that come into play as well as, you know, what is your budget and what you're trying to do with your vehicle? As always, 
If you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Until then, we'll see you on the trail.